particular tense. Stem is derived from the root and is the most basic form of the verb in a particular tense. That is what we want to remember here. I think I just lost my pen. There we go. So in a particular tense. That's the key that we want to remember. Right. Now let me illustrate this in a way that is a little bit clearer. In Greek, we have six tense forms. So if we have one root, because we have six tense forms, we need six different tense stems to work with. Now you'll notice here that for the verb luo, lu is the root, and then every one of the tenses, the stem in the tense, is lu. And you say, but they're all the same as the root, they're not different from the root. Exactly right. We have two categories of verbs. We have the verbs that are regular verbs, and the definition of a regular verb is that the stem is unchanged in every tense and looks the same as the root. And so luo is a regular verb because every stem looks the same as the root. So when we talk about the future stem with luo, we're talking about something that looks exactly the same as the present stem. It's a different stem, but it looks the same. And this is why we add a tense formative, so that you can see the difference between the present tense and the future tense. That tense formative is what enables you to recognize that even though this looks like a present stem, it's really the future stem. Now, when we go to the principal parts of the verb, the principal part of the verb consists of the stem with everything added in that particular tense that completes the form of the verb. So you'll notice here in the present, uh, we only add the ending. The ending is the combined connecting vowel and uh, personal ending. And so you have the stem and the personal ending. In the future, we have the stem, and then we have the tense uh, formative sigma, and then we add the personal ending. So we have a principal part in each tense as well that represents the stem with all of the other elements that form that verb in that tense added to it. When you look in the lexicon, you find that the present tense form, first singular, is going to be the lexical form. You will also find in the lexicon indicators of what the principal parts are to help you recognize the verb. Now, when we look at the back of our Greek textbook, there is a place in the appendix where all of the principal parts for the verb are listed. Let me point that out to you just so that you'll have it for reference uh, at some point if and want, you uh, want to look it over. Um, this is page uh, 372, and you'll see right away, at the top of 372, you have the word agapao, then it gives you the future form agapeso, and you see the sigma tense formative in there, and then you have other forms of that verb for each of the six tense forms that you need, or what we call the principal parts. When you get to the chapter now, Mons will start to show you uh, in the vocabulary, in the chapter, uh, the uh, principal parts of the verb. He'll start to build them into the vocabulary. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> So that we have ganao here. Let me move that over just a bit. There we go, ganao. And then he starts now to list the principal parts so that you can start learning these principal parts with the verb. And at the end of the chapters, he gives you previous words that you've had. 
and uh, he'll now fill in the gaps for the verbs that we've already had so that you can start to learn the principal parts from those verbs. Now these principal parts are important to learn. Uh, they will save you time in the end. Mansa's philosophy in teaching Greek is that you learn the root and then you learn how to form the verb and you build verbs, you see them, and if you have to parse them, then you deconstruct the verb to figure out what it is. That takes time, and unless you're going to go work for Wycliffe and do Bible translation and write down languages that have never been written down before, you don't need to take that severe analytical approach. It's easier to memorize the principal parts. You don't know what's going on in the principal part, but when you memorize the principal parts, parsing comes a lot easier. So it takes that additional time in the vocabulary, but invest that time and it will save you later on.